it's water flowing here. Thousands of people have to evacuate their homes in Cedar Rapids and Waterloo. School in some areas canceled until at least Wednesday. The flooding is expected to get even worse this week. Look at that, all the way up to the roof almost on that building. With the river expected to crest at 16 feet today, beginning up to 23 feet on Tuesday. Well, good afternoon. Nothing like that here, but we do have some cloudy skies over the valley here right now. Take a look at some of this, and we're going to take a look here in just a few moments at our satellite and radar, and you're going to see some of those clouds really starting to form just south of us. 88 degrees out at this hour. Here's a quick look at Eager. Sarah Meekum sent us this photograph. Thank you, Sarah, for that, because that's a gorgeous shot there, as you can see. And uh, when you take a look at some of those clouds that she's receiving there, that gives you an idea of what we're going to see here. Take a look here at Southern Arizona. The south of Tucson, Nogales, the areas over Douglas, Arizona. All these folks are starting to receive some some storms, some so storm uh, activity, as I can say. Uh, just around 10 o'clock or so this morning, that's when it really started to move in. And we're going to take a wider look here. And then we'll look at some of uh, the activity that we'll experience in the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Take a look at this future cast. And some of that cloud cover that kind of reached all the way up into the high country, into Sedona. That's by tonight at about 7 o'clock. And then take a look at some of these storms that really start to build. A lot of those storms coming through Tucson, right up the middle of the state by Wednesday around noon. Flagstaff, Sedona, going to see some of those storms. And then north of that, north of the Grand Canyon, north rim, south rim, and then the area around Page, you're going to see some of those storms as well. Take a look at this. Temperatures across the state right now. 68 in Grand Canyon, 72 in Page, 64 at Flagstaff. And Red Rocks, take a look at that, 79 degrees with those Red Rocks, just gorgeous. Temperatures right now across the valley, take a look at mostly 80s and 90s, 75 over in Florence. Quick look here at our forecasted highs across the country. 64 over in Boston, 72 in New York, and then 80s down through the Florida region. And then as we take a look at storms we're experiencing, Troy sneezing over there, my friend. Uh, take a look at some of these storms closer to the Wisconsin area, Minneapolis area, tasting some of those storms into the Carolinas. There's this real stubborn storm kind of sticking around Charlotte. But that's going to dry up hopefully real, real soon. And then back to our skies right here in Arizona. Take a look here. Forecasted highs today, 66 in Flag, 89 here in Phoenix. And along the Colorado River, you're looking at 90s for the most part. Quick look at our 10-day forecast and you will see lots of sunshine next week. 91 for Saturday to get your weekend going and beautiful temperatures, as you will see. 89 for our high today. Troy. You're talking about the weekend already? Why not? I like the way Isn't you think. Isn't that what Mondays are for? Yeah, <laughs> like the way you The Moms Against Stupid Tiny Carts movement <laughs> and other shoppers quickly joined in and they were complaining about their ankles being bruised because of these little carts oh, man. and out of control kids. What do you think? You have <laughs> younger kids. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, first of all, the carts are going to be gone by the end of the year, so you don't have anything to worry about. I, my kids haven't gotten into it yet. Okay. So I know they're at Trader Joe's. I don't go there enough for my kids to be into it, but you know, if, if you were into those, even though I haven't seen them here in town, it's kind of fun. Trader Joe's is cute, but if, if your ankles are bruised because of them. I guess it's a problem. <laughs> right? Well, yeah, that is. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, it is a, deserves a movement, but. But, you know, there's a movement for everything. That's right. And uh, the weather's moving in right now. And it's a great one. You know, I love it. cloudy skies out there, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. We like a little change in our weather forecast. This is a look at the Arizona Science Center. So uh, let's talk about what we are going to see for the next couple of days. I will definitely tell you, uh, we're going to be in for uh, some changes in our weather pattern. Pattern clouds going to stick around for a few days. Uh, we're tracking uh, a low pressure system that is moving. You can see all of the showers from uh, this morning. This is a loop here, so we're seeing the activity of the last couple of hours. Pretty light rainfall. I mean, a lot of this that you see on the screen has been very, very light in nature, or maybe uh, it's Virgo, so it hasn't even hit the ground. But we did see some light showers in places like Tucson. We saw some showers along the I-10. Also saw some showers in places like Douglas. I think moist, mo most of the moisture is going to stay. Uh, to the south of the valley, but we do have a chance of seeing some very, very light sprinkles, really. So let's take a look 
at our Doppler radar. This is a three hour loop in the valley. You can see a little bit of activity kind of uh, worked its way here through the eastern valley. Uh, but all in all, I think for the rest of the day, about a 10% chance we could see some sprinkles, uh, but a lot of it probably will be Virgo, so it's not actually going to hit the ground. Just keep that in mind, though. As we run you through future cast again, we do have that chance. A lot of the activity is going to be to southeastern portions of Arizona. But as we run you through Tuesday, tomorrow's our best chance of seeing uh, some activity, and the model's really showing that. 5 o'clock on Tuesday, you can see uh, we've got some showers uh, and some stronger bands of showers just south of the Phoenix area in places like Casa Grande and Tucson. So we are going to see temperatures uh, below average, which is nice in the 80s and 90s around the valley right now. Seeing temperatures in the 60s in Flagstaff, 79 degrees in Sedona, and 88 degrees in Phoenix. So we're not going to see highs really fluctuate much uh, with the cloud cover. They just kind of bump uh, just a little bit. So we're forecasting a high of 91 in the valley, 66 degrees in Flagstaff. Overnight low 70s in Phoenix, 40s in Flagstaff, and 50s in Sedona. And here's a look at your seven-day forecast. So again, a slight chance of showers for the next couple of days. Best chance on Tuesday. And then we dry out for the weekend. It looks pretty nice. It looks perfect to me. Kylie, thank you. The Prime Minister of Canada gets the cold shoulder from the future King of England. And it's all caught on tape. The